so Bally, it's a few hours after the match now. Um, are you still sort of looking back and thinking you can't quite believe you came through that one? Yeah, totally. Like, I'm still walking around thinking I can't believe I'm in the second round now. Um, but no, I'm, I'm really delighted to have come through that. I knew, obviously, I, I, knew, I knew it was going to be a difficult match. I played at the start of the year and I lost in a straight two sets. Um, but at the same time, you know, I still felt confident uh, when the draw came. I, I knew that I could cause a problem if I played well. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm so glad. I never, I never thought that you can win a match from, you know, f f having four match points against you. But I think what that shows is that if you keep fighting as hard as you can and you keep believing, which I did, even on the four match points, then do you know what? Sometimes you can turn it around and you can win it, and that's what I did today. And you know, I'm really delighted about that. It's good. It's become a bit of an Indian Wells tradition. It's like you feel like you've got to come here and save match points every year. <laughs> I know, it's really mad. I mean, last year was unbelievable. Um, and of course, it's it's always lovely when you come back to the same tournaments, when you've done really well. And yeah, last year I actually defended three match points against Nali and I ended up winning and it was my first top ten win. So this place has unbelievable memories for me. And um, yeah, I mean, hopefully it's... It's a bit of a nerve-wracking habit to have for my coach, probably. Um, but no, I'm just so delighted that I managed to come through that today. Let's look ahead to playing Flavia Panetta uh, in, on Saturday. Uh, and she's somebody you've played before, but not, not very recently. No, I played her uh, 11 years ago um, in qualifying at Wimbledon. I think it was first or second round of qualies. Uh, I lost something like 6-2 or something, 6-3 in the third. Uh, but you know, it was such a long time ago. I think I was like 16 or 17. So, um, you know, that 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 won't have anything to do with you know coming the match on Saturday. Um, but I'm really looking forward to playing her. Um, I've got absolutely nothing to lose. On paper, she should beat me. Again, when you play someone who's who's you know who's uh, on paper much better than you, then um, you know you can go out there, swing freely, and, and you've got nothing to lose. And, you know, and you feel more relaxed and, uh, and you can really give it a go um, and that's what I really want to do on Saturday. Now we're, we're sitting here in the beautiful surroundings of, of the Indian Wells Tennis Garden. It's a really nice place to spend time. Just tell us about some of the things you've been doing away from the tennis and away from here. Well I always find that in America it's so relaxed like you know the people are really bubbly and um, you know, they, they love a party, shall we say. Um, and, uh, you know, life here is very relaxed, um, especially here at Indian Wells. I mean, life here is perfect. And, you know, you could just tell by the view behind me that it's, it's such a wonderful place. And we actually, last night, um, there was a party at the hotel that we, we just happened to kind of go in there for a coffee and the party was, like, kicking off. And, you know, it was so wonderful to just chat to all these different people and... Um, you know, they're obviously here on holiday, they're in a very relaxed mood and it kind of really relaxed me, so it's been good, but, you know, the hotels are amazing as well and there's so many lovely places to eat and, you know, just to relax in, so, um, you know, every night we, we kind of go out and, you know, and, and have a really good laugh, so, but it's just, it's, it's just unbelievable the atmosphere here and, you know, hopefully the longer I can be in a tournament, the better.